Good morning everybody and welcome back to my vlog, my channel. My name is Kelly and I am a clinical fellow. No, I'm not. I am a speech language pathologist working at the hospital. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm a medical speech pathologist and I'm taking you along with me today on this Kelly Friday, aka Thursday, but it's Kelly Friday. I'm gonna bring you along into this day. I'm at a different hospital than I normally work at, but still in the same healthcare um, like company, and it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Um, so come on along and let's have some fun today. My first hour of work is typically spent chart reviewing. I spend a good amount of time looking up at my new patients and any new evaluations I have, getting a good case history about them, looking at any SLP history that they've gone through, risk factors, medical diagnosis, what the reasoning they have been hospitalized is, and then also how their hospital course has happened um, and then I move on to my patients that I'm currently treating and just get an update on what happened overnight, what happened yesterday, making sure if any changes happen to their medical care that I'm on top of it and I know what their plan of care is for that day. Okay, so morning recap. I got here, I did a chart review, I found all my patients for the day, and then, as you saw, I headed out on my floor. I've seen three patients so far this morning, and I have a swallow study coming up soon. So I have to go get, do, get ready to do that. But I saw an evaluation, he was completely fine, started him on a regular diet, and then I saw two treatments. Um, one of them it was this 97-year-old woman who just got Peg placement yesterday. Um, she was having some esophageal dysphagia, and so right now we're doing like a ITZY level four zero, so a puree, solid, thin liquid diet for comfort measures only. Um, but honestly, her therapy with her is just not really a good candidate because of the whole esophageal dysphagia component. She just vomits every time she drinks water. So we're really just doing it for comfort and for enjoyment um, and not trying to increase her risk of postprandial aspiration. But we gotta go head on down to radiology, but look at this beautiful view of this hospital. I'm obsessed. So 
I'm just getting ready to take my patient in for the swallow study. Um, my patient has been on a, was admitted with a moderately thick diet, uh, thick and liquid diet. And then at bedside, he seemed to be doing better with mildly thick. He hasn't had a um, swallow study done in radiology since January of last year. So we are repeating the test to see what's the most appropriate and least restricted diet for him. Um, so we'll see how it goes and I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully the mildly thick is going to be nice and appropriate for him. All right, in case anyone is wondering what radiology looks like, this is a sneak peek. Um, you'll see that there's a little radiology suite, the patient sits in there, and then the radiologist or rad tech will run the machine and take the images while I feed the patient. Nothing too crazy, but figured I would share. Well, um, let's just say we silently aspirated thin and mildly thick liquids moderately thick liquids were way more safe and he actually was very efficient with it and had didn't have any uh, pharyngeal residue so we are gonna stick with the moderately thick diet um on top of that he has a cp bar in his neck well what i assume is a cp bar um it was not obstructive that much with the uh with the mildly and moderately thick liquids so Definitely going to refer to GI and see if they have anything to say about that CP bar, but it was just a fun little surprise over there in his neck. Uh, a little cricopharyngeal prominence. As a speech pathologist, I cannot diagnose those. So in my note, I'm just going to mention that there was this prominence near C4. It was not obstructive, but I would defer to a GI team for more information on that. So just a little bit difference between the GI team and my role. This is what clean holding looks like. Clean holdings are rooms that have all clean material that may be needed for patient care. As a speech pathologist, I pay attention to all the oral care stuff mostly or trach stuff. Um, this oral suction toothlet is my favorite because it connects to the suction device in the patient's room and helps clean out the gunk in their mouth. Well guys, that was a day in my life. A day in my life as a hospital, SLP, you know, just cruising through inpatient, helping people eat and helping people drink. It was a good day. I'm obviously, I took my scrub top off because it's like 90,000 degrees in Florida in the summer. And I just, 
I cannot sit with that black scrub top on for an hour drive home. It's just not in my cards today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a very small, short vlog today, just a little bit of an insight of what I'm doing at the hospital, trying to show a different hospital than I'm normally at. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the day. I really love going to that hospital. It's just an hour from my house and it's a hike but the patients are super great. The staff there is great and all the facility is super, super nice. So it's a nice change of pace and keeps me on my toes from going stagnant at one place. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. If you have any questions about what I do when I'm at the hospital, comment them down below. I would be happy to educate and share the love of speech pathology.